I am a practicing Muslim. Sure, I have conflicts between my faith and my day-to-day -day life, but doesn't everybody? I'm Nadia Ali. I started off as a dancer, then I started escorting and doing porn. I was working at a salon in San Francisco doing eyebrow threading and I was like crying to my girlfriend saying, bro, like I work full time, bro, and I don't even got money for the bus. I be hitchhiking these buses, man. My girlfriend was like, are you wearing matching panties or bras? I'm gonna bring heels tonight. You're gonna dance with me. I made like 500 bucks and I was like so proud of myself. Like, oh my God, I'm never gonna go back. I'm never gonna go back to my old life again. It's like you're selling a fantasy that you're gonna take this guy home with you, but you're not. Oh, what's your name? Well, I wanna get to know you more. The next thing you know, you're done. Wait, what, that was it? Like, she made me feel great, but she didn't have sex with me, but she fucked my mind. I like fucking people's minds. I grew up in a very strict Islamic community. It was really hard because I felt like I was always an outcast or I was the black sheep. I have officially been banned from Pakistan. It's on Beast Daily News. It's on Pakistan Daily News. It's on Geo TV. Pakistan did not ban me because I did porn. They banned me because I wore the scarf and their traditional dress in the adult scenes and performed in Islamic wear. A lot of porn companies and adult companies would not shoot me and I would not get a lot of work if I did not wear hijabs and scarves. The only thing that stands out and I got millions of views is because of my outfit. I'm not okay with that. But then again, it was good for the viewers and I got what I wanted out of it. I did get the publicity. Some people got the message like, oh, Nadia Lee doesn't care bashing her own culture. And it wasn't about that. It's me being open with my sexuality and a Middle Eastern woman that doesn't know how to get intimate with her husband. She can watch my porn and be open with her sexuality. Like, you're not the only one. That's how I see things, but the world obviously sees things differently. I practice Islam for the sake of peace and, you know, guidelines of life, not to steal, be humble, be happy, be thankful. One of the biggest main sins is adultery and doing it multiple times a day as an escort you will not be forgiven and I am fully aware of that but yet I still pray but I don't escort anymore the adult industry it's something that is a part of me and something that I do doesn't make me who I am Sometimes people do certain things to get by for the time being so they can get to the next level of their life.